there, you think you may be able to ID him, you need to give police a call. We truly live in an amazing community. And I, I do believe when something like this happens, you know, that's what gets you through it. Tonight, the Jesseville community is rallying around a local family after a fire destroys their home and kills their dogs. It happened yesterday off Highway 298. This is near Spears Circle. Care for us, Price McKeon has been following this story. She's joining us now in the studio after talking with Hughes family. And Price, you learned that they also dealt with another loss right at the same time. Yeah, Bob and Ashley, the Hughes told me the two completely different situations happened about within an hour of each other. Carrie Hughes told me she first got a call yesterday. Her grandfather passed away only to get another call. Her home was on fire. Smoke still rises from what's left of the Hughes family's home a day after flames ripped through it. You know, I'm thankful my kids are alive. I'm thankful that me and my husband are safe and uh, move forward. The fire killed what Carrie calls her kids' best buds, their dogs, Tucker and Gracie. My husband and me, we got here and um, the, the bigger dog was actually laying on top of our smaller dog in the kennel, probably protecting it. The mother says she got a call about their Jesseville home off Highway 298 while at work Wednesday afternoon. I, I think that there's a reason for everything and I think that it was just a God thing that the kids weren't here and so I'm just so thankful. I, I try to see positive out of all this and I'm just thankful my kids weren't here. Carrie also lost someone special the same day. I got a phone call 30 minutes prior to finding out about the house that he had passed. And uh, so my family needs the prayers. Her grandfather, who was in hospice, died. So I don't have words to explain it. Hug the ones you love and appreciate what you have because you never know. She says she can't thank the Jesseville community enough. The amount of love we've been shown, the diapers, the clothes. Yeah, my kids are not going without. The smoke fades, but the small town's support for the Hughes soars. The Hughes told me that firefighters believe it may have started in their AC and heating unit. It is still under investigation. Now, friends have set up different ways to help the parents and their two young kids, ages 3 and 10 months old. We've posted those links to their fundraisers on our website. Just go to kark.com. Back to you, Bob and Ashley. All right.